Hey, it's Alex there from AlexFigures.com and today I'm interviewing Scott Kennedy, founder of Light Path LED. Uh, so Scott has created a quite, quite a unique line of red light therapy panels and uh, if you've been watching my stuff for a while now you would have seen my reviews of his mini and of his large uh, pulsed multi-wave panel. So um, I had a lot of questions around this panel and uh, there's quite a few, well a lot of unique features in there uh, including the pulsing which is you know something that's new to the red light therapy space. Anyway uh, I decided to jump on a call with Scott and run through a bunch of questions and we dive into everything from the pulsing technology to dual chip LEDs to 3 versus 5 watt LEDs to everything else uh, red light therapy. It is quite an awesome call and um, we cover lots and lots of information. In fact, uh, I ran out of time and we decided we'll do a part two later on this year. So enjoy, sit back, relax. If you have any questions for myself or Scott, please leave them below and um, be sure to hit the subscribe button to check out those future videos. All right, let's get into it. So I'm here today with Scott Kennedy from Light Path LED. Now, Scott is a certified laser light specialist and also a health coach. Uh, he's the founder of Light Path LED and has created some rather unique red light therapy panels. Um, I personally have one of these panels. It's the Light Path LED Large Multi-Wave Pulse Panel. Bit of a mouthful there, but I wanted to include the, the brand name in there. Uh, I've been using the, this particular panel for a few weeks now. And if you've seen my first impressions video here on my YouTube channel, you would have seen firsthand how these panels are very interesting. There's some pretty novel features in there. And um, you know, even from a design wise, it's, it's not your typical red light therapy clone panel that we're seeing more and more of today. So um, because of these unique features and because of the confusion I had when first using the panel, I wanted to reach out to Scott to pick his brain and also get some guidance on the best way to use these, uh, these products and um, yeah, learn, learn a bit more about them. And, and hopefully as I learn, I can you know, educate you guys as well. And uh, you know, we can find out a bit more about the technology and, and Scott and the panels themselves. So so welcome, Scott, and thank you for taking the time to chat with me today. And um, before I hit you with all the technical questions, uh, would you be able to give me a bit of a rundown on the history of Light Path LED and also, you know, your background and why um, your panels are a little bit different to the other panels we're seeing today on the market? No, sure. So, uh, you know, I started up Light Path uh, about three years ago. I started up my wellness center. So the wellness center is Light Path to Wellness. Uh, and then shortly after that, uh, I started to get more involved with the home use uh, devices. So I see, I see clients every day, all walks of life, um, all types of issues. And we predominantly use light therapy. We will use other modalities, vibration play, infrared sauna, uh, photopuncture. So, but the, 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 the main idea is we're using light to help these people um, heal. I started, uh, yeah, about nine years ago um, in the dental field, interestingly, I was a dental technician in, in the Air Force and then uh, went to school for hygiene. And then after dealing with a lot of, uh, you know, wear and tear, wrist, back, neck, pains, um, I got into doing more dental sales and I was working with a, a laser company. And this was a big, expensive laser where we would cut hard tissue. Um, cut soft tissue, we would do endodontic, periodontic, snoring procedures, wrinkle reduction, you know, all kinds of spider veins, all kinds of fun stuff. The great majority of it was ablative. So we'd go in there and do a, a, a cavity prep instead of using a drill, we would use a laser. And uh, that's where I really got my start. And what was interesting is, is what we learned is, um, you know, if we took a laser, one of the dental lasers, and we stuck it right here, we'd burn a hole right through the cheek. Uh, but if we pulled it out, dispersed the energy over a greater area, we were seeing great results with patients with TMJ, temporal mandibular joint dysfunction. Uh, great results with um, post-op, if they had an extraction, if they had uh, deep cleaning, uh, if they had a root canal and the healing would be dramatic. The pain reduction would be significantly less as well. So uh, that's what I really started to get involved and learn and, and, you know, find those certain people out there that really understood things. And uh, that's where I gained a lot of my 
knowledge was following them, reading their research, watching them, taking their courses. And, uh, uh, you know, I had so much success on my own with peripheral neuropathy, idiopathic, that um, I thought, wow, what, a, what an amazing modality uh, for so many people that, you know, they go through their whole life the conventional, traditional way and see minimal success. And then they can come in and see me. And within a very short period, they're, they're seeing mobility. They're seeing um, reduction in pain um, much greater than they ever did through um, their conventional uh, uh, approaches with doctors. And so um, it's one of those things where you just keep on learning. And uh, it's just, it, it's a very rewarding um, field to be in. And so that's kind of where I got my start. And um, here's me still learning, me still changing, me still finding uh, new ways to help people heal. Yeah, very cool. It's actually fascinating. I didn't realize you had the um, dental background. And I, I say it's fascinating because for me, that was one of the first things I noticed when using red light therapy. I had some uh, tooth pain, like uh, I had a receding gum at, at one point and, uh, you know, hot, cold, sensitive and stuff. And the red light therapy, when I used it, yeah, that pain disappeared. But when I stopped using it, like soon that pain came back. And that was one of the first things I had, first experiences I had with red light therapy, knowing that, huh, there's actually something to this. Like it was clear as night and day. And in fact, um, uh, James Carroll uh, from Thor Laser, do you know, do you know him? Or? Yeah, I've taken, I've taken a number of his great guy. Yeah. Great guy, so knowledgeable. Yeah, totally right. It's amazing. And uh, I met him in person um, geez, a few years ago now in London. And um, <clears throat> we got talking and he showed me all his presentations he makes to doctors and, you know, more of the technical sort of gurus out there. And he was, he actually showed how he was doing it. I think it was an extraction, a tooth extraction. And he had oh, no, yeah, sure. yeah, right. And it was all just with red light therapy and lasers and that. And I mean, that just blew my mind. I was like, are you serious? Like, is this possible? Like, so, um, yeah, that's really, really neat. And it just shows firsthand how, you know, still I get doubters today. Like, oh, it's just a light. How can, how can this really do anything? It's like, you just try it. I mean, there's totally, yeah. And not only from personal experience and, you know, client experience and all that, but the science, like you said, it's, it's there, it's solid. So uh, no, that's really cool. Um, we might just come back to the dental side later on because I do have a few personal questions around that that I wouldn't mind touching uh, related to red light therapy. Um, but so going back to your entry into the red light therapy space, I mean, was it just you thinking, hey, there's an opportunity here. I, I need to dive into this. Why did you not just go and buy like another red light therapy panel on the market and use that with the clients? What, what made you um, want to create your own panels? You know, uh, part of it is just there. There's a lot of great panels out there, and I just thought, well, there's there's certain things that I think could be better. Um, there's certain things that could be made with better quality. It could have better, um, you know, uh, customer service, better support, uh, and. You know, there, there was a part of me that, you know, I could only see so many people within a radius of where my wellness center was. And so there's a lot of people that wanted to have the uh, benefits of red light, but they couldn't get in to see me. Mm -hmm. um, so I thought, well, here's, here's an opportunity for me to uh, work with a company that I can say, hey, let's do some more wavelengths on this. Let's change this design. Let's add more bulbs. Let's add double chip. Let's, let's go crazy and do pulsing. Um, and half of the time I got to know because you know, I'm, not a, I'm not an engineer. So sometimes they said, we just can't do that. Um, but they were great at saying, yeah, we can. We can make these changes uh, for you. Um, and so that was really the chance for me to take more of a role in in my clients um well-being yeah right so you touched on a few of the features of the panels um and and you don't just do panels as well so could you maybe just give the viewers a quick rundown of of what products you you have created and and you sell and um you know their their key features yeah uh, so light path led is the panels 
Uh, but I know that not one device is going to be best for everyone. Uh, so I started working um, uh, with Michael Liner in Australia, who has the, the G LED pad, uh, the I LED pad, a uh, lot of good research. And he, like me, has a wellness center as well. Uh, and, and I realized how important pads can be for more localized type issues. Uh, and how great they are to wrap around a shoulder or wrap around uh, the forehead. Uh, I also started working with torches with uh, Kay Abria Photonic Therapy Institute. She's out of Arizona. Um, you know, 20 plus years of knowledge, wellness center, and, and has spent a lot of her time working on animals, yeah. uh, which is great because there's no placebo effect. No dog gets treated and goes, hmm, I think it may be something else other than the light. You're right. Uh, and so, uh, and there's a lot of times where a panel is great, but boy, if I have a, if I have a torch where we can work on specific meridian points, awesome. If I can use a panel and maybe use a, a pad system uh, to help open up uh, lymphatic pathways, great. You know, um, it's never a, you know, some companies wanna say, just go with a pan, just go with a pad, just go with this. And it's just not the case. Everybody's gonna be a little bit different in what they need, what's gonna be best for their issues. So that's why I've worked with them and brought those in uh, as well. Um, so that when somebody messages me, calls me, says, hey, I've got this kind of an issue, I can say, okay, I've got something that'll work better for you than maybe my own panel or I've got a combination of things that'll be best for you. Right. So again, that's why, you know, I'm not, I'm not dogmatic on it. Um, and there's certain things that I may not have that could be better for somebody that I would say, you know, maybe this isn't the best option for you. Here's another option. Yeah. And I like that. And uh, I guess full uh, disclosure here, well, not necessarily disclosure, but anyone that has viewed my stuff over the years would see more of a, what's the word? Not, not necessarily biased, but I mean, more focus on the panels. And that is just simply because that's where I started out, what I started out using. And then I had a few of them and I compared them and I reviewed them. And from a overall bang for the buck, you know, you have one panel there, you can hit different treatment areas if need be, uh, or you can do the full body for more systemic um, benefits. And I have, copped a little bit of flack over the years especially more recently where people say oh why don't you look at some more of these um different you know products and that and it's something that yeah I, I have a little bit of experience with I have a few of them here at home I just haven't really taken a deep dive into it because there's just so many panels and so many different frequent uh features coming out where I'm just like hey that that's going to be my thing but I do know like uh recently I did my handheld comparison and I know you have a little mini product uh mini panel as well right um, you know, and that was, and, and in that comparison, I talk about how it does give you other options. I mean, they, they, a lot of those handheld ones are battery powered, so you can use it while traveling or at a sports field or, you know, like to address like, a, I don't know, some tooth pain before you go into the dentist or whatever it may be, right? Um, and the torches, the little, the little sort of devices, that's something that I personally have been quite interested in because you can totally target one area no matter where you are you know you can be sitting watching a movie or you know you're on the bus or something using the near infrared and, and no one even knows what's going on right and then like you said as well you can you can tap into those um meridian points and you know there's a whole nother world out there of, of um red light therapy low level uh laser therapy and not just hey you want a massive panel that takes up half the room and uh you know you can see your house from from five blocks away so um yeah it's really cool that you're doing that and i want to bring it back though to the panels because that's what i i have i only have your large um, multi-wave panel at the moment and um i i do have a few questions around around that because what you've done with that panel there are a few unique features in there that other companies haven't done or maybe they have done but you've done it a little bit uh, let's say more advanced, right? So the first thing I need to ask you about uh, the standout feature of the the multi-wave pulse panel that I have is this. Um, and correct me if I'm if I'm saying this wrong. The Nogia frequencies. 
Yeah, um, Nogier, French neurologist. Nogier, okay. So I'm going to hand that over to you. What's the deal here? Tell me what you know about it and uh, why you incorporated it into the, your panel. So uh, Dr. Nogier is a French neurologist. So um, he was more focused in uh, um, auricular uh, acupuncture. So, you know, you, an, an inverted fetus in the ear is, is kind of the diagram. And so it's very specific with, with, with needle points. And what he found was that certain uh, specific frequencies would elicit um, uh, a greater response uh, for the body in the healing process. Uh, at some point that got extrapolated into light throughout the body, which, which makes sense because the, you know, we have um, acupuncture points uh, throughout our, our body. Um, so the way they're going to react is going to be um, uh, similar. So we know the research on pulsing has been limited, but thus far it's been positive, but they, they mainly pick obvious numbers. Um, five, 10, 50, 100, 500, 1,000, 10,000, uh, more just because, okay, let's compare. Is a higher number better? Is a lower number better? Um, now, a lot of, so there hasn't been a, a significant amount of research on pulsing, period, yet alone no J frequencies. So um, again, this is where I rely a lot on um, my colleagues, my mentors, uh, people that have been doing light for 20 plus years, um, uh, you know, back when it was complete, uh, you know, uh, voodoo. Um, and they love Noje frequencies. They use it in their clinic. They use it on their, on their patients. They use it on their clients and they've had really good success with it. Uh, and so you do see a lot of pad systems. I'm not the first one to come up with Nogier. This has already been out um, in a lot of pad systems. Mm -hmm. uh, this has come out in specific um, torch systems, uh, as well as uh, they even have one now with a full body bed, kind of like the Nova Thor, mm -hmm. but has the pulsing. So although there's a lack on the research side of it, there's a lot of anecdotal that supports it. Now, we can get into the weeds on, um, okay, the research showed in, in this certain case when we um, took rabbits and uh, uh, induced a stroke, okay, at a pulse rate of 100, we saw great results, uh, or 1,000, we saw great results, but maybe we didn't have 500. Um, so, to some degree, we could be splitting hairs on what is going to be the best pulse for this specific issue. Could it be 147 of the nogier, which is a kind of a universal inflammation? Or would it be um, you know, 2.5, as James Carroll uh, has, has studied and shown to be positive? Or could it be 10,000? They all have. Um, they all have similarities and they all have seems to have good results. Uh, so again, we, we, we sometimes get a little too caught up in the research side of things. Um, so I took a lot of that information from the, I guess you call it the clinical evidence of uh, a lot of the people that have been doing this for so long. Yeah, see, I, I, I love, <laughs> Even though there is that uncertainty and, and still maybe some of the science is a little bit lacking, like you said, or, or confusing, as a, as a biohacker, as someone who is like passionate about health and wellness and using technology and, and nature to improve health and wellness, uh, you know, I love the concept because we can try it. I mean, you can experiment, you know, you can look at what science there, you know, what has been published around a certain frequency, or you can read the case studies or, you know, speak to vets who are using this, whatever, and be like, all right, well, these people seem to have really good results with wound hearing when they were using this frequency for this duration. I've just come off my bike. You know, I've got some serious wounds. I'm going to give it a go. I mean, that I, I like that. Um, and I think some people get too caught up in the black and white. Wow, there's no published science on this, you know. And, and that's the same for any new technology. I mean, red light therapy, laser therapy, you know, I know it's been well studied now, but 
when that first came into this into the into the world into the market um i'm sure there were a lot of doubters with that as well so um i, I look I at the led i mean that was scoffed at that was laughed at uh when when people said hey i can get similar results with a, a light emitting diode as opposed to a true laser and people said no that's that's bs you need to be using a laser totally. um, time has shown that both of them can be very effective so and that's why with the with the pulse i you know with the with this uh, a, a mode yeah you can go with your presets that i put in there um but then you can create your own so tomorrow this, some research comes out and says uh, 389 is ideal for this certain ailment. Well, now you've got that, that option. So um, I'm not a know-it-all. There's so much that we all have to learn. So my goal is just to, to keep the options open. So as research or more anecdotal does come out, then we have the ability to make the changes you know, in real time. Yeah, and I think that's awesome. And now, so for people watching this video who are thinking, what is all this pulsing? What, 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 what are Alex and Scott talking about? I highly recommend going back and watching um, at least my first impressions video of the large multi-wave um, panel from Lightpath LED. And I will be doing a full review as well. And that will give you a bit of context as well as to what we are speaking about. Um, alternatively, head over to lightpathled.com and um, see the panels that are, are on um, the website there and you will see like for instance with your large panel uh, which is 250 odd LEDs you know your standard what I call body panel um, that comes in three different options you have your your standard red and near infrared um, 660 850 um, nanometer light then you go up to your multi-wave panel which is 620 660 810 850 and 930 um so five wavelengths which is personally i think that's neat and and i i prefer the panels with those extra wavelengths in there of course you're spending a little bit extra the price goes up each time you add these features and then the top of the range product is the multi-wave pulse panel so that has the five wavelengths and then also has this inbuilt pulsing um feature functionality that scott has been talking about here now it came your your panel comes with the preset Nogier no frequencies, but you can also, like you just touched on, you can select any frequency from, what is it, one right through to 9,900 or thereabouts, yeah. right? Yeah. Right so that, like, I mean, that's just, like, it's kind of insane because to my knowledge at the time, the only other panel on the market that has pulsing technology in a panel is um, the Juve the new third generation Juve, but they only have one pulsing frequency and it's 10 Hertz, I believe. Um, and that's only for the near infrared light. So yours works on both red and near infrared and you, <laughs> you have 10,000 options in terms of what frequency out there, which is, it's both awesome, but at the same time, it's so overwhelming. You're like, well, <laughs> which one do I choose? Where do I start? But like you said, you have the power to, experiment and as more data or more research or more case studies come out you can you can tap into that so i and i touched on this in my um first impressions review and i'll cover it more in the full review i'm going to be doing where i say like hey there's there's a lot of for me personally there's a lot of unknown and uncertainty around this technology and i don't have much experience or very little experience with it so i can't give some some clear um feedback on it but the thing is it's has potential and there is some stuff out there showing that it is promising so it could it could end up being a total game changer not just for the red light therapy space but for the health wellness space and, and most importantly it could be a massive game changer for someone's health which is why we're all doing this right so if you find that you have some chronic pain somewhere and then you find that this frequency five minutes a day just totally you know, that pain's gone without having to use drugs and, you know, having to go spend money on acupuncture or something. I mean, that like, it's, that's massive, like absolutely massive. So that's why I'm so excited by it um, because of that potential. And um, it is such a new, for me anyway, new technology and new, new, uh, new feature in the red light therapy space. So I, yeah, I mean, I do, you know, I, I, I almost want to congratulate you for, for bringing this into the, into the panels because um yeah, I, I think it's neat. I think it is very unique and uh, hopefully it's it's going to be 
revolutionary for for the space and also for for people's health. So I do want to quickly ask you, though, I've said how there's so many options in there um, with presets and and custom frequencies. And then, of course, you can alternate between red light or narrow infrared or both. And then you've got time and then you've got frequency. Now, I know with red light therapy, there's no clear cut, you know, this frequency for, oh, sorry, this wavelength for this amount of time. And I've, I've touched on that um, many times, though people still ask me, what should I do? Um, but what is the go with, well, two questions. Firstly, with these frequencies, with the pulsing, do you, um, does it matter what light is being used? I mean, could it be green light, red light, orange, or, or it's more the frequency itself that's beneficial? Well, so obviously with the, with the wavelength, whether it's a, we know the red is going to be more superficial. The near infrared is going to penetrate deeper. Mm -hmm. Uh, As we go to the smaller wavelengths below red, uh, you know, um, blue, uh, green, yellow, you know, they all to some degree have a photobiomodulation effect. So the key is, is we want to be able to have wavelengths that will penetrate deeper in the body that may have different affinities for certain types of tissue, hence the five, five wavelengths, Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, a 10, we know um, has had better success uh, with brain health. So it's really combining what we already know with, uh, with the specific wavelengths and then tacking on the pulsing as well, which we know particularly really good research with brain health, with um, EEG machine and with certain companies like Violet at, you know, pulsing at 10 and Mm -hmm. at 40. I mean, they've had phenomenal results with that. Um, So it's, it's really taking, it's really taking two things that to some degree are separate in how they work and, and combining them. Yeah. Okay, cool. No, that makes sense. And you mentioned the violet and that is something that I own and have used with as well. And to be honest, I actually, um, I didn't even make the connection between the two there as I was coming into this video. So yeah, it's, it's interesting because I know again with Juve, like they only do the 10 Hertz with near infrared, they don't use the red light. And so that's why I was thinking, well, is it what's when it comes to the pulsing, what, what is more important? Is it the pulsing frequency or is it the pulsing frequency with a certain wavelength or we don't know yet. We don't know. We don't know. And, and, and I would imagine the reason why it's only the near infrared pulsing is because unless you've got your goggles on or you got your eyes right. closed or whatever, it, it can be, it can be bothersome. It annoys me. Yeah. You know, so if I'm doing the pulse, I will turn the red off and just have the near infrared. That's the one that penetrates further into the body anyway. Yeah. That's the more important wavelength uh, and that's why with all the panels 60 percent of the bulbs are near infrared only 40 percent are red because i want more of that power going deeper into the body but yeah now i've got other people they i don't know why it doesn't work for me but they feel so relaxed with that pulsing yeah well, so they could put it on 10 or 40 where it, it's right there and me it makes me squint every single time even if my <laughs> eyes are closed so it bugs the heck out of me, but they're like, wow, I feel so calm with this. I'm like, okay, great. Yeah. You know, so I think that's probably why just again, make life easier. We don't need that red right, right. in my face. And it's not as important because we want, we want, we, we want the wavelength that's going to penetrate deeper into the body. Now, again, uh, one of the theories is with any light, when we pulse it, we can get deeper penetration. That's, that's something that can of course be argued, but um but we certainly are seeing research showing that with darker melanin, mm. uh, that it's able to penetrate deeper into the body. So that's that's a good thing. So even if the red, which generally goes through the epidermis, the dermis, uh, can get the superficial uh, lymphatic vessels, but then basically sits at the at, at the capillary bed, the hemoglobin, uh, and that's kind of the end of it, which is vastly important because we're we're creating vasodilation in the skin and just underneath it, um, if we can get that to penetrate a little bit further, that's great. Yeah, right. Um, That's fascinating. And 
again, anyone that has watched my first impressions video would have seen how I totally, uh, you know, nearly flipped out when, when that pulse had started, especially yeah. the red light. And mm -hmm. um, I, looking back, I was silly not to read the manual beforehand and even connect the dots thinking, hey, this is going to be pretty intense. And I know now that's why by default, the red light isn't working on your panels. You have to enable that because of that feature where you can turn it on and it's just like, whoa, how do I turn this off? This is crazy. And secondly, you recommend using the goggles um, for those, you know, uh, slower frequencies, which are quite visible. Obviously when you're getting up to 5,000 Hertz or something like that, you're not noticing it at least um, consciously yeah. you know, noticing that. I'm, I'm sure there's something yeah. going on. Uh, optically, basically above 80, it, it looks just like a movie reel. You don't right. detect a stop and start. Yeah. biologically uh, it's about 300 so anything above that yeah we're, you're fine and really the only concern is going to be for people and they know they know who they are the people that have photosensitivity towards any kind of uh flashing it may create nausea um vertigo it could even create uh seizures rare yeah. rare but it, it's something for people to know if you're one of those people then either don't get the pulse or you get it, you know, just keep it on continuous wave. Cause when you first start it, it's continuous wave. Yeah. And then you can make adjustments to then make it pulsing. Got it. Yeah. But I do, I do like the idea that, Hey, you can experiment with some of these, um, uh, you know, lower, you know, the 10 Hertz and stuff fre frequencies without even using the red and potentially like that might be better. Well, not necessarily better, but I mean, that might be all we need anyway, like for the deeper penetration with the near infrared light. So, um, because it, it, to be honest, I'll, I'll be completely honest there, you know, the five Hertz, the 2.5, all those things, it was just like, whoa, like 30 seconds. I was like, this is, this is stressful. No, this is crazy. <laughs> and um, so I didn't, I haven't actually used it much because of that reason. I, I've used some of the other frequencies, but now I might go back and um, start playing around with it just with the near infrared, um, you know, to see what happens there. So the next question I had then was, and I know we've sort of covered this already where, where the answer is we don't know yet, but is there a standard sort of protocol that you could recommend um, to use these frequencies, um, you know, just for a average Joe or, or like, what do you use? I mean, is there like, you know, yeah, my go-to frequencies are, 10 and 500 and I do five minutes of time, you know, uh, three times a week. Is there a, just a general starting point that you would recommend to someone? Yeah. I, when I, like I said, whenever somebody buys, uh, when they get it in, we'll, we'll do a, a 20 minute phone conversation. And like you said, in the intro, it's like, uh, how do you have 20 minutes to talk about it? Well, yes, five minutes can just go into just figuring out the display and getting that down packed. And then the rest of it is going to, we're going to talk about, what are the issues that are going on? Where do we want to place the panel? Because again, if it's a large one, that's, there's not too many places you can put it. You put it in front of you. Mm -hmm. um, but for some of the smaller ones, we may talk about, okay, you've got peripheral neuropathy in your feet. Yeah, we can put, put the light on the feet, but we also want to activate the lymphatics. So back of the knee, mm -hmm. front of the groin area. Now, there may be nerve involvement, most likely. So we're going to be hitting the lower back area. Um, even we can hit the dorsal root ganglion up into the base of the spine as well. So that's where the conversation gets into. I only focus on two frequencies for starters. One is 40 yeah. because that's shown very positive for brain health, whether you are trying to, uh, deal, you, you have certain types of cognitive issues, um, or for me it's prophylactic. So it's just using it on a daily preventative measure uh, to reduce any types of future type issues. And then 147, which is kind of a universal for inflammation. So that makes life easy for people. Start with those two. Uh, as you start to get more comfortable with it, then you can start looking at some of the other ones and trying those out and seeing if one tends to fit better for your issues. Cool. Now, as far as time, uh, we always start off slow. We may start off with two minutes. That's it. Or if we want to do a few more minutes, we may have it further away. So there's less energy because we do see people that have a Hertz response. It's just, it overloads the body. And that's sometimes an issue with having a larger panel. The body's not quite ready to accept all that light. 
you can start the detox process, but it's got nowhere to go. Mm-hmm. Um, the body's sluggish, the lymphatics are sluggish, um, the filtration organs, uh, the kidneys, the liver are sluggish. So we want to start off slow, build our way up because just like, it's like exercise or, or like getting in your sauna. Um, if you're not in shape, you can't get out and run 10 miles. You can, but man, you are going to be hurting. Yeah. Uh, and that's the same thing with light. If, if you, you're coming from nothing and particularly if you got a lot of toxins in your body, you start off slow and then you slowly build your way up. Now there, there, there's points where, okay, um, you hit about 15 minutes at this distance. That's pretty close to ideal. Mm-hmm. Um, the goal would be ideally after somebody, um, you know, goes through that process, they, they start to go, okay, how is my body feeling today? Um, how much light do I need today as opposed to yesterday or next week or last week or whatever? And you may be in front of your panel for five minutes and you go, you know what? I'm good. Yeah. If that's the case, you're good. Yeah. If, you're, if, if you had the timer set for the typical 10 minutes and you go, gosh, I'm really, I'm really enjoying hanging out behind it. It's feeling really good. Mm-hmm. Hang out for a few minutes longer. Um, our body is, changes every single day and our needs are changing every single day. It's no different than our nutrients, our vitamin D yeah. level is changing. You, if you did blood work every day, no two days of your vitamin D level would be the same. So there's some days you may need more. There's some days that you may need less. So mm-hmm. that would be in a, an ideal world. But, you know, we always have to have certain parameters that we can get people started with. Yeah, no, that's that's interesting. And it's something I've personally noticed as well. Like some days, especially with these new generation panels, um, yours, the new Juve, the new Mito mods and stuff, which are a lot more powerful and larger sometimes I just yeah I, I get in front of it and after a few minutes I don't know I just feel a little bit like irritated like bored it's kind of weird it's just you just feel like all right I'm done and um I've never really connected it to my body like effectively saying hey hey we're done here let's let's stop it's just more like yeah I I, I don't know whereas other times you get in front of it and yeah you just feel soothed like you know you feel warm the, the warmth you feel good whatever it may be um, and I've never really thought about that, you know, that connection. So that is interesting. Um, and yeah, I, I appreciate you giving us a little bit of an overview there with those frequencies, because that was the one thing I know your manual does a really good job of outlining the potential benefits of each frequency, but it was kind of like, oh, which one do I use? Is there just a really good overview? So, hey, that's there's um, a lot. Yeah. And there's only so much you can put in a manual because I mean, again, who the heck wants to read a manual? You know, I hate it. I'm, I just don't have the attention to sit there and spend 20 minutes going through a manual. So, uh, you know, that's why I spend the 20 minutes with each buyer. You know, as we start to evolve and change the website and change our way of in, uh, um, connecting with the buyers, we'll have more of a interactive manual that they can pull up in the membership section of the website and it'll list the things that are in the manual but then there'll also be video that says hey here's for those people like me who i would much rather spend 10 minutes watching a video than Mm -hmm. spending 10 minutes reading a manual and so then it just goes step by step here's how you press it here's where you start here's the distance here's all the the basic things that that can get you started and it's just a lot easier yeah, and for those who haven't seen my first impressions video, um, and they do end up getting one of these panels from Scott, I highly recommend using a couple of minutes at least to at least flick through the manual rather than uh, spending half an hour being frustrated trying to figure out how to, how to work. Uh, 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 it took me a while to get it figured out as well to where I could just hit the buttons and be like, okay, I'm good. It, <laughs> yeah. it took me a few days of, of doing it constantly. And that's why there, there is a video on the website right now that just goes over you know, five minutes just goes over the basic parts of the, of the display. But it's one of those things, Leslie, you said, you, you started, you're like, oh my gosh, what button do I hit? How many times do I hit? Wait, why is there this pause? Five second delay. It gets, it gets a little bit confusing. So, but you know, I tell people three days, yeah. three days, you do it three times and it's going to click. And then after that, you're, you're fine. It's, it's, it's going to be five seconds more yeah. than just turning an on button. Yeah, no, yeah, and I totally get it now that I've been using it for a few weeks. The cool thing is, though, once you do get it up and running, if you if you stumble through the buttons and it and it starts working, that's actually when I started reading through the manual. I was like, ah, oh, it's working. Well, while I'm standing here for a few minutes, I'll read through the manual, and then I thought, oh gosh, okay, that makes sense, and 
And um, then I read your emails and yeah, it all starts coming together. So, um, hey, I want to um, move on to a few other features with these panels because um, I know we could talk for hours about the uh, pole scene and it may be something that, you know, I come back to you down the further down the track once I have a little bit more knowledge and experience with it and you know we get some questions from the community as well but we'll leave it for now uh, and let's move on to the LEDs so tell me a bit more about these LEDs that are in this in the in the large panel of yours um, I believe the five watt and dual chip LEDs can you um, explain a bit about that technology and why that's a little bit different to some of the other panels out there yeah, there's there's a lot of similarities as well. So, um, and this, the the issue is with a lot of light. Uh, this light is it's new to people. It's not like you can, you go uh, look at a car. Somebody says horsepower. You get a general understanding of what what you're talking about. Um, so it can be very confusing when somebody says five watt. Or what they do is they'll take all the bulbs. Just say to make life easy, it's a hundred bulbs in that panel. And they'll say, oh, there's 100 bulbs. Each one is five watts. So now you've got 500 watts of power. And you go, wow, mm -hmm. that's a lot of power. And that's not true. So five watts is, or you may see three or five. That's the bulb capacity. That's just saying that if I wanted to, I could put five watts of power through that and it would be fine. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't go blowing up. Um, so that's, you know, maybe that's good for the longevity of, of the bulb, but, but the key is, here's the bulb, here's the diode chip. This is the power. Yeah. This is where it's actually coming from. Mm -hmm. That diode chip is 2.1 watts of power. So significantly less than this five watt here. So that's where it can get very confusing to people and how uh, certain companies can purposely or not um, I don't want to say the word manipulate, but that's kind of how, how it is. Um, uh, so now we, we, we also have to take into account, even though it's 2.1 watts, there's a lot of loss of power in that. Uh, just through any electronic type device, there's going to be a loss of, of power and that may show up as heat. Um, mm -hmm. There's going to be a loss of power in distance. There's going to be a loss of power with reflection off the skin. Uh, scatter. So you have to take all these things um, in, into a, account. Um, now, when we talk about a double chip, mm -hmm. uh, what we're doing is instead of it just being one diode chip per bulb, there's, there's two. Now they are the same wavelength. So it's either going to be 620 and 620, or it's going to be 810 and 810. Um, and all that does is, is when we have a 30 degree beam angle, which means instead of it coming out really wide right here where you may lose a lot of that energy on the sides yeah it can be more focused so having a couple chips uh allow it to have a little bit of a better overall coverage so it's not what i would say a big deal it's certainly not a game changer it's a nice little feature yeah okay so that was that was one thing now going back to my first impressions video i was a little bit confused because i knew you had the dual uh diode chips and i just assumed that it would be a six six a red light and an air infrared light and then i realized it wasn't and then i thought oh maybe it's you know your 620 and your 660 in the one bulb but then i could still see the differences the slight color differences so um now that makes sense you you've just got two chips in there with the same wavelength um so whereas i know i think it's the juve go the i think it's the juve I, there's another product out there that actually has um, I, I believe i'm right here has the red and the near infrared in the same chip so so you get mm -hmm. yeah you're getting full coverage um but that's from a small handheld panel uh where they're limited to the amount of leds in the pan in the handheld device so i can sort of see why they did that so anyway that that explains that and uh, hence my confusion when I recorded that video. Um, yeah, and with the five watt LEDs, I mean, yeah, you touch on a few key points here. So the number's not everything for, for multiple reasons. Uh, firstly, so many people do get caught up in the total power, like more power is better, but there's some evidence out there and even um, anecdotal evidence where people get better results with less power, uh, you know, smaller doses, only a minute or two instead of the 10, 20 minutes that was the 
gold standard, you know, when, when red light panels hit the space. So there's that. And then also the other thing is, even if there is a five watt LED in there, like you said, that's, it's not necessarily putting out five watts. Well, we know it's not, you know, yours are 2.1, I think you mentioned. Um, and then you've got things like, well, how much of that energy is actually converted into a radiance, like power output at that wavelength that we want? I mean, there could be inefficiencies with heat. There could be, it could be a poorly designed um, chip in that I've seen this with my spectrometer where you look at the wavelength the the um, light that is coming from a certain chip and some of them are very you know thin peaks where majority of that energy is concentrated at 660 maybe a few nanometers either side and then other ones you see quite a broad um you know peak where it's like oh well there's actually about 80 percent of the energy is ranged from 640 through to 665 you know sometimes it doesn't even peak at the 660 so there's so many variabilities and um things to be aware of and and um i try and mention that i try to cover these points when i do reviews and especially my comparisons but still i still can i i still get the feedback and i still get the questions where people just want to know what what's the most powerful and and i i should buy this one because it's it's half the price but it has more power and it's like it's frustrating, but I can see just that's how the human brain works and how marketing works and people get caught up in those big numbers. So, um, And it's tough because you have research that, and like on one side, James Carroll, he's, he's a big fan of kind of like, you know, low and slow. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the people that have the pads, low and slow, that, that's what they like. They, they find it a little bit more, I guess you say, more natural for the body as opposed to, you know, just hitting the body hard with a lot. Mm -hmm. But on the other end, you have some very powerful lasers that are super pulsed, multi-wave that are peaking at, you know, 200 watts of peak power yeah, right. coming out in billions of seconds. Uh, and you're, you could be putting in a shoulder area. You could easily be putting in well over a thousand uh, watts of power, a thousand wow. joules of power in yeah. there and, and getting great results yeah. now we can know we can always argue about okay well if we're putting in a lot of power mm -hmm. but we're getting deeper penetration at the skin surface there's too much power going on right. but at that deeper area we're getting just that sweet spot of energy and as we know light is systemic it's not going to stay right there so what you did right in this area is going to then come back out to this area or we look at the low and slow where we're affecting maybe more superficial, that first centimeter mm -hmm. with just the right amount of light. And then again, systemically, we're in the blood. We're in the lymphatics. We've got gene transcription going on. These cells are talking to each other now. And then that is creating a cascade effect that goes deeper into the body. Let's say for the brain. Um, 3% of light, if we do transcranial, is actually getting into the brain. And you would say, well, that's not going to be enough. Yeah, right. That's all we need. I mean, we're really talking about not even a, a watt of power needs to get in. We're, we're down to, you know, 0.5 or less is all we need to get the wheels turning. It's almost like oiling a, a, a stuck gear. And right. once that starts to turn, it moves all the other things. And that's where you get such a change because you've got vasodilation, you've got increased oxygen, um, you've got cells saying, um, let's release anti-inflammatory enzymes, let's release enzymes that are going to make the cells um, more resistant to damaging effects of sunlight, or uh, let's slow down the uh, premature apoptosis of the neurons in the brain. So there's so many... Again, we, we get into this debate mm. and it's, it's my thought is just put light on the body. That's you it. Know, let's, let's not get too caught up. People, you know, people in a little world and a little bubble can, they can focus the research people. They can focus on, on all of those things and they can work that stuff out mm -hmm. for the average Joe using it. Just put light on the body, you know, just get enough of it and you're going to see changes. Yeah, no, I like I like that, and it's it's similar approach or belief that I have now with my own treatment. And when people do reach out, it's like, look, yes, you can get hung up in all these research studies and 
all these different variables and there's, there's, it's impossible. You know, you've got treatment um, distant, you've got treatment panel size, you've got the distance from the panel, you've got the power output, you've got wavelengths. Now we've got pulsing. Um, you've got frequency, like of how often you're using that panel. Do you use it three times a week or, or three times a day? And short, I mean, it's, it's, it's endless, right? But what I've found uh, over the years, and this is my feedback and what I've seen with my channel and my blog. And I mean, my mom uses, my parents use red light therapy now. My wife does, you know, like, because people get results, right? And that's the main thing. Like, don't get caught up in it. At least... You, you can, but at least um, use it because you know it is going to work. I mean, it does have some benefits. And again, my mom doesn't doesn't read the research or anything like that. She doesn't even know what's going on with it. She just knows yeah. when she has a sore knee or sore foot or whatever, she'll she'll do a couple minutes. Sometimes it's one or two minutes. Sometimes it's 20 minutes while she reads a book um, and it feels better. So that's the key thing. And, and I like how you said that. Just you know, put light on the body because... Um, you're going to benefit something. You're going to benefit from it. And when you do have the panel there and you do have all these options with, you know, the more advanced features, you can, you can start experimenting, you can start researching. Um, but I think it's best to get the panel first or any red light therapy device and start using it rather than sitting back and, and spending months researching this stuff and trying to figure out which one to buy. And you've lost all that, um, you know, potential health gain. So I tell people, start with what you can afford. I don't yeah. care if it's a little mini. I don't care if it's a lamp. I don't care if it's, you know, start with something. As long as you're using it correctly, mm -hmm. that's, that's the key. Too many people buy something and they don't know how to use it properly. So they're not seeing the results. And then it gets put into the, like anything. Mm -hmm. If you don't know how to use it correctly, I can take any light, basically. I don't care if you were to say that the quality is low, the power is low. Fine. We can still get it to work. We may have to increase the time. We may have to put it closer to the skin. We may have to do this. We can get it to work for you. So that's why I tell people, you know, if you can't get the large, and that's why I do the trade up. If, you know, not everybody's going to be able to just drop 11, 1200 into a panel. Most people just can't afford that. So yeah. start off small, start seeing results with it. And then you go, okay, I'm tired of taking this and moving it all over my body. So yeah. now I'm ready to get something larger but um but to your point is it's i think the it's so satisfying when someone like uh, a daughter buys a panel for the father who has back pain loves to walk can't get out there to do it anymore old school traditional medicine skeptical does it just to placate the daughter yeah. <laughs> and a week later they're walking further than they have in a year with dramatically less pain. Mm -hmm. um, those are the ones because you know, there's no placebo effect in there. They're mm -hmm. looking, they're looking, they don't want to come out and say it, but they're looking to crush the whole light thing mm -hmm. to say, no, it doesn't work. And they're seeing changes. And uh, another point is we did um, uh, uh, not very scientific, but we, if you're familiar with like a heart rate variability um, devices that test yeah. it, we brought that into uh, my wellness center and we compared, uh, I've got a full bed, full body bed, like the Novathor. Yeah, nice. Um, continuous wave, uh, great device. People love it, hugely, ridiculously expensive now. And we would do a uh, heart rate variability test prior to, and then they do the light and then they we test them afterward. Mm -hmm. And the ones that did um, the pulsing of the, just a tabletop panel had uh, an enormous difference, change in the after of the heart rate variability um, test, which I thought, I, I don't know all the ins and outs of that, but I understand the basics of how it works. Mm -hmm. And I thought, that's cool. That's yeah. something that we should, you know, if I had a research lab, if I could have all this and, and do this, this type of study with these types of, um, uh, testing devices I thought that would be that would be so great to do you could go through all the frequencies and test yeah. them all out yeah. before yeah. and after and and you know have your um have your uh control group have the study group have someone doing just a continuous wave as well and being able to really compare all those yeah the uh, the downside though is time and money to do such a test and 
for those still on the sidelines, um, you know, like you mentioned, you, you don't need to start off with a thousand dollar panel. You can start off with a four or $500 one, even less. And um, just try it for yourself. You know, if you've got that dodgy shoulder, just try it because, you know, I go back to my parents, like the other day, my mom has a, has a mini, like a half size body one at, at her home. And she was going um, to stay somewhere else recently. And she was traveling past here and she called in, she said, Oh, do you have a spare one I can take with me on the trip? You know, and it's because she's seen firsthand like the benefits. And that's why when people ask like, which one should I get? And what technology is the best? It's like, well, look, I have done some big comparisons and um, some are have better features or have more power or lower EMF, whatever. But at the end of the day, they're all red light therapy panels and they all, they all work. Like they all bring good results. So if someone's here in New Zealand and they can get one for half the price from a local, um, local store, because they don't have to pay a hundred dollars or 200 for shipping, like, you know, just get that. And, um, yeah, it, because you can get bogged down in the details. I do. And then I sort of back off because I'm like, this, it's just too overwhelming. And I just go back to five minutes or 10 minutes or whatever I could do and, and be done with it. Um, Hey, so this call's gone way longer than I expected, but it's been really, really good. Before I wrap it up, though, there are a few questions I wanted to ask you about this particular panel and your company. Um, if you've got five minutes, are you okay to quickly go through these? I'm wide open. Let's All right, go. awesome. Awesome. And I'm thinking as well, like on the technical side of things, there's so many other questions I would have liked to ask and you know, going more into the, the pulsing and all that. Maybe later on we do do a follow-up call and we even take on um, some questions from the community. Um, if that's something you'd be open to, we could look at doing that later in there. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. I'll follow up on that later then. So a uh, real quick question. So I'm going to be working on my full review of your large panel, like I've touched on a few times already. Um, I do know though, when you sent this panel out, you said the, the ones you're selling now are slightly different to the one that I have here in my home. What, what are the differences? Um, what, what's changed? So again, really just a couple changes. We we've changed the display, uh, just, just separated the different modes just to make it a little bit easier to, uh, to know which one you're, you're pressing. Uh, and then again, we changed the, the top third square, which is typically going to be on the head area. We changed the near infrared. So instead of it being 810, 850, 930, we changed them all to 810. Mm -hmm. And that's specifically because research has shown um, that 810 does a better job um, uh, getting into the brain and activating the brain. So that's why we did that. The, the bottom two thirds are going to be the same. Uh, the tabletop version is going to be basically the same, just changing the display. So you do have two options. You've got the tabletop, which is about foot by foot. And then you've got the three times uh, uh, large version as well. And you have um, those large ones have the modular modular capability, right? So you can stack two on top of each other and side by side. Yeah. So we also have uh, we have a we got we have a few different stands, a couple stands coming. So we have a floor stand, so you can just set it right onto a base and sit it on the floor. So great if you want to um, be doing some meditation in front of it. We have a, a stand that allows it to go horizontal. Yeah. So if you have a difficult time standing. Uh, you can just lay on your couch uh, or lay on the end of your bed. Or if you're a clinician, you can have it on your massage table, chiropractic table uh, and treat the person lying down. Um, that was really a thought because a lot of people, particularly geriatrics or people with certain types of ailment, they just can't stand for 20, 30 minutes. So, and then we've, we've got a wall stand where you can set up a couple on top of each other and then a modular uh, that has wheels that'll have stacked one on top of the other. So you can uh, roll that around. Cool. And all of these, uh, you can see them on your website, right? I, I don't. Yeah. If not, if not now, as, as again, we're, we're always making new stuff up. So I give, I give my manufacturer say, Hey, here's what I want. Here's what I would like. Yeah. Now you guys are the engineers. You figure out what we can do, what we can't do. Mm -hmm. And we'll, we'll go from there. So I've got a couple of things that are just getting ready to, to, to come out. So once we, once we have that, then we'll be putting that up on the site. Awesome. Cool. Now I know you put a lot of uh, value on customer service and uh, looking after your clients or customers. Um, I think you got a three-year warranty, which is, which is awesome. Um, 60 day return policy with no restocking fee. Is that correct? Correct. So you just pay for the shipping back. That's awesome. Um, and you also have 
and I know you've touched on these, your trade up policy and your follow up support call. Are both of these things just a limited time offer or is it, you know, is, is that just part of your, your business? Is it? No, that that's part of it. Now, you know, I'm small time, really. I, I You know what, if I was selling what the big boys were doing, I could never be on the phone. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, what we're doing is as again, as, as we're as we're growing, because really right now it's 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 a family business so uh as we as we grow you know i've got a facebook group that we do a lot of uh you know every couple of weeks we'll do a, a live q a where we, we may pick a certain topic like how to treat brain how to treat lymphatics or we may even talk about other modalities that can be used um so that's a great way to learn um we do the 20 minute phone call right now and then again we're going to be uh, more interactive with the videos online so that a lot of that information, right when you get that panel, you're going to be able to just watch a five, 10 minute video. And that's going to answer the great majority of your questions. Uh, but yeah, for right now, um, as, as, as far as I can see, you get the panel in, we set up a phone call. We spend 20 minutes going over your particular issues mm -hmm. um, and, and how can we best uh, address it depending on what uh, what size panel you got? Do you have the pulse in the non? Do you have the pad? Do you have the torus? Do you have a combination? Or maybe you have something from a different company and we can go over that as well. That's awesome. And that's included in the price. That's not an add-on or anything like that. Correct. Correct. Wow. It's just it's just a part of it. So you, even if you got the um, you know, the $250 mini, yeah, or you got the twelve hundred dollar large, yeah, it's really the, the same thing. And then with the trade-up, yeah, you can. Start off small, get 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 the get the mini, and then uh, or get the tabletop, and you may decide. Uh, you know, you've got a full year of using it, wow. and if you say, "I'm I really like this, but I'm ready for the big boy," um, then you just return it to me. You pay just the shipping back, and that entire purchase of that two hundred and fifty that you put into it, or that four hundred or five hundred, whatever you put into it, that all of that goes into the larger unit. All right. That's, um, yeah, that's quite incredible. I mean, the, the follow-up call from any purchase, I mean, that's, you know, you, you could be charging one, $200 just for that call outright. So that's incredible value. And, um, yeah, maybe, uh, if you're watching this, you know, five years after record recording, uh, who knows, maybe your business is actually booming and, and you won't be doing that feature anymore. But for those who are watching this, at the moment, you know, 2021, uh, that's, that's quite a neat uh, deal. And, um, and, I'll make, and I'll make sure whether, whether I'm doing a one-on-one -on -one with somebody or, or I'm at a point where I, I can't do that. You're going to get, you're going to get the customer support, whether it's going to be through the videos, through the Facebook groups where we have, instead yeah. of just one-on-one, -on -one, we may have 20 people on the group and people are asking their questions and you're going to gain so much knowledge just from somebody else asking Hey, I've got this, or how far away do I put it for this? Or my child has acne or whatever. So yes. you're going to gain just a lot of knowledge from that as well. So the customer service side, that's one of the things I think is so important and so missing from a lot of these kind of biohack type devices where it's, you know, Hey, I'll give you all the time and attention until you make the purchase. And then, you know, you're kind of on your own. Um, yeah. You know, people don't have the knowledge why would you? I didn't have the knowledge 10 years ago. You didn't have the knowledge a certain amount of years ago. So the more we can guide people, the more they're going to learn how to use it. They're going to get better results. They're going to talk about it. And that's really going to be the key. I, I spend right now, I spend a big zero on marketing. Everything that I sell comes through word of mouth. So I would rather be putting in the time and effort to that because that's, that's, that's the real deal. Mm -hmm. um, when when you're increasing sales because people are talking kindly about you. Oh, yeah, no, that's awesome. I I'm I mean I think what you're doing with the technology, the panel, the after sales support, um, the trade up policy. I mean I think it's I think it's amazing, and your products are well priced as well. I mean, like I said earlier in the call, you can get that large panel. Uh, the 255 LED panel. You can just get the standard red and near infrared one. Um, what does it say? $824. I mean, that's that's great. That's a great price for a good panel without the support and all those other things as well. So 
Um, yeah, I mean, from a business point of view, I kind of scratch my head and think how, how, how are you making money out of all this? But uh, obviously it's all working and, and the, the, cl the client, the customer is the, the winner out of all this. So no, nice work. And um, where can people find a bit more about you? I know you've got your website, lightpathled.com. Is that the best place? Or you mentioned the Facebook page. Is, is that a public one or is it just for customers? Uh, no, it, it, it's, it's public. Um, so it's, it's red light therapy for beginners. Okay, cool. Uh, and that's really what it is. So we don't, I, 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 I try to stay simple. Um, yeah. There's something about staying simple with this. We don't get into all the nuances of research and things. It's just for the people that are getting um, used to light and they want to get involved in it, uh, but they want to be able to ask simple questions without, um, you know, feeling the pressure that, you know, what, this is a dumb question. Um, so the Facebook group, um, the website, Hey, if you're anywhere in the, um, New Jersey area, uh, come visit me at the uh, wellness center. Yeah, cool. And I'll put links, uh, to your Facebook page, your website. Um, does your wellness center have a dedicated website or is that all through the light path website as well? It's all, it's, it's all through the light path. Side. Okay, cool. So I'll put links to that in the description below. If you're watching this on YouTube, um, and uh, I believe we also have a discount code. Uh, is it Alex, A-L-E-X for a few percent? Alex, yep, Alex for 5% off. Well, so yeah, I'll put, I'll put all that below as well. And um, that's, I mean, again, it takes an already awesome value. Uh, it just it further improves on that. So thank you for that. Uh, and thank you for your time. And yeah, I, I thought this would be a half an hour call, but there was just so many things to touch on. And I've still got a list of questions here, but I'm just going to have to save them for another day. So if you have enjoyed this video, you know, give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. And what I'll try and do is we'll get on a call later on in the year, perhaps with Scott, and we'll go through some more technical questions. Uh, maybe we'll touch on, you know, some other products you have coming in the pipe, down the pipeline. Uh, and if anyone is watching this and has a question for Scott, of course, you can head over to his Facebook page or head to his website or leave a question below and um, I'll, I'll click them all. And when we do that follow-up call later this year, um, we can go through some of those questions. I'll also be doing my full dedicated review of the large multi-wave pulse panel. And um, I'll be covering, I'll, I'll be testing things like EMF, irradiance, uh, sounds, levels, uh, and just, you know, going into a deep dive, um, covering things we've talked about here, but also my experiences and some of the features included in the panel. So be sure to subscribe for that. That should be out in a few weeks, as well as my 2021 body panel comparison, where I will be comparing all these panels on the market, including the light path LED panel, which I think is, um, is going to do really well. Uh, just, yeah, I mean, given the unique features that has the value, all these other, you know, post sale support and all that, I think it's going to, it's going to do really well. So we're just waiting for one more panel to be released and then that will, um, I'll start filming that as well. And I know I've said this so many times now, so I do apologize for those who keep asking me, uh, when is it going to be out, but it will be soon. So again, Thank you so much for your time, Scott. And um, I am super appreciative for all, all information and yeah, what you're doing for the red light therapy space and for, for people out there helping them with their health and, and helping them learn more about this technology. So thank you again. And um, I look forward to chatting with you again later on this year. Yeah. Thanks so much, Alex.